I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Reality TV stars becoming presidents. I've watched monsters play with buttons while humanity sits helpless in their wake. All these moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die. <coughs> 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 I'm so wasted. I'm sponsored by God. Blade Runner 2049 is directed by Denis Villeneuve. And it stars Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford, Robin Wright, Dave Bautista, Sylvia Hoax, Anna Denarmus. I think that's how you say it. Mackenzie Davis and Jared Leto to name a few. Now before I start this review, let me say that I am a big fan of the original Blade Runner. I have only seen the final cut and I must say that it is brilliant, especially the last 20 minutes. So yeah, I was excited to see Blade Runner 2049. So let's talk about it, man. I am going to give you the description of the plot that IMDB has because if I were to give you the description of the plot that I saw, I would spoil the movie. Kay, who is a Blade Runner played by Ryan Gosling, discovers a long buried secret. A secret that leads him to Rick Deckard, who's been missing for three decades. Okay, so now let's talk specifically about what I liked and didn't like about Blade Runner 2049 while avoiding spoilers, because we don't want that. The cinematography in this movie is really freaking cool and beautiful. Like, picture the most beautiful girl that you have ever seen, or, or guy, if, if you're a girl. And just know that whatever image you are imagining probably looks just like Blade Runner 2049. That was such a weird analogy. But seriously, Roger Deakins' cinematography was godly, as it always is. Also, the atmosphere of this movie was perfect. It felt and looked just like the original Blade Runner all the way through. The special effects were seamless and honestly like nothing I have ever seen before. There's one scene in particular which involves Anna de Armas' character who's kind of Ryan Gosling's girlfriend is taking part in an activity of sorts that's actually extremely hard to explain where I was like, this is weird as shit, but amazing. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Also, I've got to say the pacing of this movie I found to be very impressive. For a two hour and 45 minute runtime, I actually was never bored. I was constantly interested in what was going on and... Uh, yeah, actually, you know, at the end, I actually felt that it felt a little bit short. It definitely wasn't a little short, but I don't know, whenever it, whenever it finally did end, I was like, wow, oh, I thought that was going to go on. Okay, so now let's get to the directing. In my mind, Denis Villeneuve has now entered the class of directors, which includes Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg, and other greatest directors of all time. Everything is on cue and works in this Blade Runner sequel. It is masterfully helmed. The drama is there. The acting is there. The action scenes are brutal and intense. And did I say intense? They're like... <laughs> Like, the guy is a genius. Now let's touch on the standout performances. Ryan Gosling is an exemplary leading man. He is stoic as all get out, but just as emotional as me. Like a Vulcan. Also, what is done with his character in this movie is pretty darn cool and deep. Anna de Armas was quite impressive as well. And her relationship with Ryan Gosling is very compelling in my mind, and yeah, it makes you think. Sylvia Hoax is terrifying and she basically plays an evil replicant that is never not unsettling. But the best performance of Blade Runner 2049 is, well, I mean, it was Harrison Ford's. He came to play. He may get an Oscar nomination. The amount of emotion that this, uh, yeah, let's just call him what he is. An iconic movie star can, uh, can produce is pretty astounding. You will understand what I mean fully once you've watched the movie. And the last thing I will say as a positive for Blade Runner is the story. Not gonna tell you anything about it, but suffice to say, it's beautiful. Well, once you fully grasp it. Which leads me to my one nitpick with this film. You will have to watch this movie multiple times and maybe go down a few YouTube rabbit holes like I did to fully understand, appreciate, and like this movie. Like, I'm pretty sure that the uh, majority of the general public will find this film dull and boring. Because they won't take the time to see it again or watch any, like, Blade Runner Explained videos. But if you're like me, who's a film nut slash enthusiast, if you will, um, yeah, you will definitely find this film fascinating 
in many, many degrees. And uh, yeah. Right now, I am not confident in giving this film a set score, because I think I, I really do think I need to see it a few more times before I really give it a score. But what I will say is that it is a must watch if you are a film fan. Anyways, that is my review of Blade Runner 2049, and I really hope that there's a sequel. Now all I want to know is what you think of the movie. Leave your opinions and your comments in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And please make sure to check out my other movie reviews by clicking right uh, here, I think.